Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Satisfactory. We are starting yet again at the uh, radioactive end, which is considerably less radioactive than it was. Um, as you can see, I, I, I'm at the train station, which was highly irradiated before, and now mostly isn't. And that's partly because we don't have so much radioactive nonsense lying around. Um, obviously coming down here it's going to be more so because in this storage bin we are signed to build up plutonium uh, fuel rods which are, as you can see, highly radioactive. But, we're going to be doing something about that. So, what we're going to do, we are going to feed some of them. Ooh. Uh, I might need some more space. Yeah, I'm going to need some more space. Okay, that's fine. Um, he says, hoping he's got enough to do this. Yep, that's probably fine. Right. Another nuclear power plant. I'm going to put it in there. Thank you very much. Right. We're going to bring in from here... Um, actually, yeah, that's absolutely fine, isn't it? Let, let me get down there so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, there we go. Uh, and we'll bring you out the front to there. No. Oh, come on, John. This is a good start. This is a great start. Right, we want to be there. And come across to... There. And into there. Right, so that's going to start feed us, uh, feeding our plutonium fuel rods in. Which has really whacked up the radioactivity in this area. Um, how many will you hold? 50? 50. Right, we also need water. Um, hmm, where's the best place to get water? Probably over here. Um, yeah, if we bring it up here and across, we can bring it along the same way, uh, the, the same level here. So yeah, let's do that. Right. Um, I'm going to put in, I think, the other ones are working on two extractors each. So let's try that. One there. And one next to it. Right. Um, should have enough for this. Let's start by just connecting those. Uh, we'll put a pipeline in the middle. And we'll bring that... Oh, that's actually not bad. Like so. Don't know how high that is. We're probably going to want at least a Mark II pump on that, aren't we? Yeah. We'll try that. Right. Now. Whoops. Nearly lost the power there. Right. Um, in fact... There we go. I'll spread some power down there. That will be easier. Right. Oh, goodness me. Hmm. No, you know what? Let's just go along that way then. We'll come along the edge here to about there and then we'll put in there we go on the edge there one of those and we'll bring that up over here 
And I don't have enough iron. Let me go and grab some iron plates. And then I'll be back. Right, here we are. I have set up this pipeline. Uh, feeding it along this edge and, and round it into the um, uh, generator. Now, let's see if all this works in terms of uh, getting the water up to it. So... There we go. One, two, three. Now, what we're looking for is water coming through this here pipe. So, fingers crossed. Otherwise, we're going to have to put another pipe, uh, pipeline pump on there. We should, in theory, have enough. Uh, have enough head lift, I mean. So I think they go up to about 50 metres, and I think that's far less than 50 metres. Ah, there we go. Yes, we have water coming through here. Are we getting it through here, though? Does it need a bit more of a boost along here, or are we okay? Oh, no, there we go. That looks hopeful. They're all the way through. All the way through. Oh, oh, oh come on. Can you do it? Don't tell me you're not going to be able to get up that last little bit. Oh, yeah, no, we're there, we're there, we're good. Okay. That's filled up. Right. It's going to produce plutonium waste, and I have no idea what we can do with that, but... Let's find some power poles from some... Where's the power? Oh, you'll do. Okay. Our capacity is now just about above our maximum consumption for the first time in quite a long time. That's good. Uh, we have plenty of these plutonium fuel rods. I wonder if we can, um, if we can feed those into a sink. Hmm. Might be worth setting up an overflow and trying. Or, more easily, let me fudge something together here. Pop you in there. We'll pop a merger on there. And we'll connect you to there. We'll grab one of these. Oops. And we'll pop it in here. Where is it? There it is. Will it accept it? It did accept it. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. Right, let's set us up a smart splitter. Uh, on... There. Is that on the... Can't tell if that's on the conveyor or it's on the. There we go. That's on the conveyor. Okay, so uh, center output is plutonium fuel rods. Yep, and you are going to be overflow. Right. Let's see if we can do this in one. We'll put you on there. We'll put you on there. I don't have enough steel beams. <laughs> I'll go and get some steel beams. Okay, here we go. There we go. That should all now start pouring into... Uh, 
into the sink. Now, we already have 13 coupons there, but let's have a look see how rapidly this starts churning upwards. Once these start going in. Oh, that, that's pretty good. Yeah. That, that's increasing quite rapidly now. Excellent. They're worth a bit, aren't they? Okay. So, that's that sorted. So, our power should be building up. We are producing plutonium waste. Yeah. Don't know what we're going to do with that. It needs to be stored in a safe place. Um, don't really have a safe place for it, but let's stick it in here for now. Um, where are we? Organisation we want. Uh, industrial storage. Um, I think it comes out the front, doesn't it? So we'll put, put it in here for now. Does it come out the front? Yes, it does. There we are. So, we'll bring this out here. Oops. Along here. And just chuck it in there for now. And hopefully, at some point in the future, we'll be able to do something with that. Possibly after the next update. Who knows? Right. That's that sorted. Now, all we're doing, really, is waiting for our um, space, eleva uh, space elevator stuff to, uh, to get done. But I do have a hard drive that has cooked. Uh, and I have a second hard drive in my pocket. So let's head back to the hub. Uh, and we'll see what goodies lie in store for us. Okay, here we are. Right. In the hub, what have we got? Uh, alternative plutonium fuel units. Yeah. Uh, classic battery. Uh, what's that? Sulfur. All clad plastic and copper. Alternate quick wire stator. Hmm. Let's go with that one, maybe. Yeah, let's go with... Well, we're a bit late now. We've already gone for it. All right. Let's scan you. Okay. Now. Really. I suppose. We should start thinking about the grand redesign. So, obviously. Everything that we've built up to this point. Is a hideous mess. It, with the possible exception of that little factory unit over there and the little factory unit we've got down um, at the other end. It's just awful. So. Is it worth going back to the start and tearing out everything we've put in and replacing it with upgraded stuff? I don't know. I do not know. First, what I'm going to do is check how many bits and pieces we've got for the Space Elevator project. Uh, we absolutely won't have enough to finish it, but let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, that's not bad. 600 there, so let's grab 500 of these. And we'll take these down to the Space Elevator and send them off. Oops probably would help if I went this way. Uh, and going down to the space elevator will conveniently put us right at the start of our, uh, our factory build and we can have a look at what we've got there and what we can improve. Which is to say, everything. And there we go, right. No truck about to run me over. And we'll drop down to here. Right, we have some of these to put in here. There we go. Ah, still going to take us a while. 
Uh, I have fiddled with a few production lines here and there um, to try and increase our supplies of various things like computers and circuit boards and things like that, which I think I have successfully done. I have set up this little production line over here. Um, this is our copper node, our original copper node. Uh, I replaced this with a mark... Oh, no, it didn't. No, I'm just borrowing what we're not using. Oh, so that's still a Mark I miner. Um, and I've used it to produce a whole bunch of copper sheets. Because we were running low. Because we were using them all for electronics. But yeah, so we can definitely do something around here. Uh, replacing that with a Mark II miner would be a good start. I don't know. I, I really don't know the best way of doing it. Because, I mean, taking out all of this is just going to fill our pockets with resources anyway. So it would be best to have some storage set up. Or I could build a... or start building a brand new factory unit and think about what we are going to need to produce what we're producing over here. Wow, that's going to be complicated. What are we producing? We're producing screws, we're producing reinforced iron plates, we're producing... Uh, what are those? Frames. We are producing... Um, rotors. You're producing smart plating. Um, rods and plates. Wow, yeah, there's a lot. Plus sheets and copper wire and cable. Uh, and what we've got and over here, we've got steel beams and encased industrial beams. And all of this could be redesigned as well because we're using a lot of slugs over here to get things um, running. So we could just like double up on the smelters and everything and maintain the same production. Uh, we do have a Mark II in here, I think. Yes, that's a Mark II miner. Ah. So I guess the idea would be... What would the idea be? Follow it from the source. So, what are you? You're a Mark I miner. Uh, and you're coming out into four smelters. Okay, so we'd need to double that up at a Mark II, triple it up at a Mark III. So is it worth having the miners feeding out specifically into a smelting plant? And that being the first step. Oh, this is going to be confusing. Right, help in the comments, definitely. Is is it worth even doing this? Or is it just beyond salvaging at this point? I really don't know. Well, in the meantime, our hard drive has finished cooking. So what have we got? Uh, in case industrial pipes. So, steel pipes and concrete instead of steel beams and concrete. Um, but more steel pipes. Mm. Alternate high... Uh, silicon high-speed connectors. So, instead of quick wire and cable and circuit boards, it uses quick wire silica and circuit boards. But more circuit boards, but makes two... Mm. Or the classic battery, again. Um, oh, I don't know. Let's get the classic battery. That might be better. I don't know. Right. Um, what other research can we do? Caterium. What do we need? Stun rebar. I can do you. I, I can I can get that. Don't, no, not do you. You know what I mean. Uh, what are you? The zipline. I don't like the zipline, but we'll we'll get it anyway. Thank you very much. 
Uh, what are you? Power switch. Haven't got the um, AI limiters, I think they are. Where are they in my inventory? I can't see them. There they are. AI limiters. I should be able to get those. Super computers, I don't have enough for that. Power poles Mark III, don't have enough for that. Okay, mycelia. What do I need? I need mycelia. Do I have any mycelia? Uh, not in there that I can see. Nor in there. Um, okay, well, let's, let's not bother with that for the moment. Oops. Uh, nutrients. What do we need? Uh, nutritional processor. I can get that. No idea what that gives me, but never mind. Nutritional inhaler I need. Okay. Just a bunch of the foods. Which I have none in there. Um, I have only those in there. Oops. Okay. I can get those easily enough. That's fine. Let me go and do that. Let me grab some food. Right. I think I have some stuff on me. Let's have a look. Um, the first one was mycelia. Medical properties. Let's unlock that. Thank you very much. What does that give us? Vitamin inhalers. Or vitamin if you're, you know... American. Therapeutic inhalers. I have no idea what, what any of these do, but hurrah. Right. Uh, I also... Oh, nutrients. There we go. Um, I do have enough. I'm just holding on to them. There we go. Uh, nutrients. There we go. A nutritional inhaler. Lots of inhalers. But that's completed, which is nice. Uh, and I also... Let's have a look. Got enough to unlock the supercomputer. So let's do that. There we go. And that has unlocked... A geothermal generator. Which I also have the resources for. So let's unlock that. Thank you very much. Now, new buildings, um, geothermal generator, eight supercomputers, 16 heavy modular frames, 16 high-speed connectors, 40 uh, copper plate or copper sheet, and 80 rubber. Power production, impure, 50 to 150 uh, meg, 100 meg average. Normal, 100 to 300. Pure, 200 to 600. And it's a scannable resource, is it? Giza. Let's see if we've got any close by. I think I've seen a couple. Yeah, one right over there. What have we got? Let's go and have a look. Oh. Hello. Good. You're not going to mess me about, are you? Excellent. Right. Uh, 200 meters this way. Um, I, I love this. I love this ammo. I really do. It's great. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Um, I've lost it now. Oh, look. I imagine it's there. I'm still quite a bad shot, even when I've got, you know, ammo that homes in. Come on. Get the last one, and then we can shoot these. There we go. There we go. Right. Okay. 
And the first one we find is a pure one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hello. Did you want a bit? Didn't think so. Anyone else want a shooting? Anyone? Anyone at all? No. Right then. A geothermal generator. Power production fluctuates. Well, that's a... Ooh. Hello. You're a fancy looking fella. Right. Okay, let's connect you up, shall we? Uh, where's my power poles? They're over that side, aren't they? So. Come on. Leave plenty so I can use my hover pack all the way along here. There we go. And that's hopefully starting to work. It looks like it's starting to work. Things are moving. Let's have a look. 250. 300. Okay. So it's increasing, but it did say that the power fluctuated, so... Although that's looking pretty good. And it's dropping again. How far does it drop before it starts building again? Quite a long way. Yeah, quite a long way. So does it drop all the way down to zero? Oh no, it drops down to 200. And then presumably back up to around 600. Alright, so yeah, it does fluctuate wildly. But that's okay. Because it's just a bit more power. Right. I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Um, we've done a bit of unlocking. We've got a bit more power connected up. Um, I think, I mean, honestly, I think I should probably take that plutonium power off so we're not just producing more waste that we can't deal with. That That's probably the best thing to do. And maybe use that power plant that we've got for the excess uh, uranium. Yes, I'm going to do that, I think. Just feed those plutonium fuel cells straight into um, the sink. Yes, yes, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and we'll connect up. Oh, I'll, I'll go around and see if I can find any more um, geezers. I'm sure there's a, a, a couple more lying around that I've seen. Uh, there may even be one up at the... Um, the nuclear uh, end that we've probably built over or built too close to. Um, I've got a feeling there's one just down there as well. Let's see if we can find that before I finish the episode. Because I've got a fairly clear memory of there being one between uh, the hub and the original site. Let's make sure I'm not going to get run over. I'll probably get run over. Yes, you're one, aren't you? Oops. I didn't have my jetpack on. You're a normal one. I bet I can't build another one of these. No, I need more rubber, which is easy enough, and more supercomputers. I should be able to get those. Right. But we will end it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do give us any comments about the redesign that you uh, think will be helpful. Uh, I'm thinking that probably... Uh, mm, probably 
setting up one big smelting station for all of the iron, copper, um, steel. What else do we use smelters for? That's pretty much it, isn't it? Iron, copper, steel. And then use a series of trains to just ship ore in, or just have uh, conveyors. Which would mean finding somewhere, you know, reasonable to build a massive smelting plant. But let me know your ideas in the comments. That th Obviously this is going to be what we do once the space elevator um, project is complete. That that's going to be the plan there. But yeah, please please let me know in the comments. Let's let's get some ideas going. Cuz I will just oops, thank you auto safe, very useful. Um, cuz just for for two Mark 3 miners on these nodes here. Uh, I think I'm going to need Come on. There we go. Uh, I think I'm going to need something like 24 smelters just for these. Two. Oops. Ignore that. Poor trigger discipline. Um, yeah, I'm going to need something like 24 smelters just for these two. Uh, and we have a whole bunch of other iron nodes connected up around the place. I mean, there's I mean, one over there for a start. Uh, that's making steel over there at the moment. Yeah, once the, the space elevator bits are done, we can tear out as much as we need, really, and, and rebuild. Um, if you've got any ideas of good places to, to build, I mean, I could go back to the sort of green meadowy area that we started the previous game in. There's a lot of sort of flat open space to build there. But if you've got any uh, better suggestions, let me know. So yeah, please do give us a like and a subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Please join us next time. And until then, I've been John. This has been Satisfactory. Please do take care of yourselves, stay safe, and bye-bye.